Hi there. Tonight we lit a candle and put it in our upstairs bedroom window to shine out and uh, really felt like we were part of something, a candle just like this one uh, behind me. But then when I went upstairs a few moments ago and I looked out and I thought, do you know, it's all very well lighting a candle, but there's nobody out there to see it, not least uh, from the vicarage window because we look out onto the park. And I thought, what good is this? What good is this? Who sees this when we're getting to a stage where people aren't going to go out and aren't going to walk the streets to see it? And then I remembered uh, that passage from one from John chapter one. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through, all, through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. The light of Jesus doesn't need to be uh, to have a great uh, audience around it for it to be powerful. Our prayers uh, don't need to be heard by other people for them to be heard by God. The glory of the Lord shines out in the midst of darkness, in the midst of what feels like emptiness. Who will see it? God will see it. It's a testament to who he is and it's a testament to his love and his power in the midst of difficulty and fear and sadness. So tonight as you go to sleep, go to sleep knowing that you've shone your light and the light of Jesus out into your community, into your streets, into the places where you live. Whether anybody saw it or not, Jesus' light shone out. And Jesus' light will continue to shine in the darkness. We must have confidence. We must be faithful in prayer. And we must remember always the light of Jesus shining forever into our dark lives at this time. Have a good night. Rest in the peace of God and be refreshed in the morning through his love for all that you have to face. Let me just pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we pray for uh, ourselves at this time, all our strange feelings and mixed emotions. We pray for our loved ones who we can't touch and be with. We pray you'd keep them safe, full of uh, the knowledge of your love for them. We pray for those who even now are working in our hospitals, in the intensive care units, those in the critical care units and emergency units. We pray for those who are exhausted with the care for others, but are determined to carry on. We pray for those who are suffering with this virus, even just up the road in our local hospitals. Father, come close to everyone who is struggling at this time and give each and every one of us your peace, your strength and your protection. Amen. God bless you and we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, we've been told that we can't open the churches uh, anymore, uh, but uh, we'll still be praying for you. So please keep your prayer requests coming uh, that we might lift them to God together and uh, share in our life together in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless.